Hi everyone, Phil from Tech for Techs here. Today what we're going to be doing is something what we've been asked in our comment section a few times, is what would happen if you added an extra fan or multiple fans to a water cooling unit? Well, funnily enough, we've got in a 120mm uh, water cooler at the moment, the Pulse L120F from AeroCool, as well as one of their new cases, the Aero One Eclipse, and we're going to actually test it on this machine. We've got a review coming for this, as well as that, separately, but this test, all we're doing is seeing if adding an extra fan, or in this case it's going to be a Be Quiet fan, because I don't have a spare AeroCool one, uh, to the actual water cooler, and in this case it's going to be on the top of the case, the water cooler is going to be there, uh, and obviously it's attached to the CPU. We're going to see if it actually alters the temperature of the CPU when it's under full or even low load. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take just two of the screws out of the top of this, because otherwise the whole water cooler is just going to collapse inside the machine while I'm doing it. Then we're going to get our fan, which I've connected up to the motherboard which as we said was a Be Quiet fan, this is the Shadow Wing 2 and that's going to sit exactly on top like that and what we're going to get is two radiator screws which we push through the fan on that side and on that side, but what I've just noticed is I've got the fan going the wrong way, it needs to point that way up because obviously it's going to be sucking air out, not pushing air in, so let's try that again, set that one down, obviously that wouldn't have given us some very weird results, so let's just screw that in, to make sure it's in nice and snug, So there we go, so we've got a fan on the bottom of the radiator and one on the top, both pushing air, or pulling it, up out of the case. So we're going to see how that works, and I'm just going to switch it on, as you can see there, that's working fine, making a bit of a racket because we've got the fans on full, uh, but we're going to see what the difference is, but first I'm going to see what the uh, airflow is like with the super duper wind tunnel which before was getting uh, a maximum of 2.18 meters a second of airflow now again this is just a prototype by the way now with that extra fan on we're getting roughly 3.9 meters um, square uh, sorry meters per second So what we'll find out is if it will actually cool the processor down any more than it would normally or if it's just a waste of time. Bear in mind, if you do this at home, it's probably good to get some sort of guard over the top because you're going to stick your fingers in there, it's going to hurt, especially when you've got the fans running at full speed. So in testing, all our tests are performed on the same machine on an open test bench. This test bench does not have any updates or anything like that turned on, so it's not connected to the internet at all. All the programs we use, we use the same version for every test depending on the device we use, unless for any reason we need an updated driver to run something newer, which is usually rare. It's usually only in the case of stuff like graphics cards you would need that. Each test is run three times, and each time we run the test, we run it for 30 minutes, and we get the average from all the tests. For this testing, we used an Intel i7-9700KF, a Gigabyte Z390 Aorus Elite motherboard, 16GB of Patriot Viper memory, as well as a GeForce 1060 6GB graphics card. Okay, both fans are connected to the same header on the motherboard using a splitter so they work roughly at the same speed. So as you can see here from the first test with the extra fan, you can see it does knock off 4 degrees off the temperature and that's why the machine is running idle with a fan set at 50% fan speed. Uh, and you can see the room temperature on there as well is 18 degrees. On this next test coming up, we basically test the processor 
so working flat out at 100% load with a fan speed set at 50%. And as you can see here, it drops the temperature from 72 degrees down to 55 degrees by adding that extra fan. So that's quite a big difference you're actually um, getting if you use that. Obviously, comparing that to the Intel stock, that's a huge difference altogether. On the next slide, we basically do a similar test again, but this time we set the fan speed at 100%. And as you can see, again, there is a 4% difference. So it's 4% cooler than the AeroCool L120F with one fan, and it's 6 degrees cooler than the Intel stock. So that makes a, a good difference yet again. So you can see this extra fan is actually doing well by cooling. And again, on this next test, we do a full load test using the fan at 100%. So the fan's working flat out, or should I say both fans on this case, as well as a processor. And as you can see here, it drops the temperature down from 52 degrees down to 45 degrees Celsius compared to the Intel stock cooler, which is running at 81 degrees. So as you can see, there is a huge difference there. You don't have to mount this uh, fan exactly how we've done it. We put it externally. Obviously, if you've got room in the case, depending on your setup, you could put both fans internally, either side of the radiator, and still screw it into the case, which makes a lot less room, a uh, lot less mess, should I say. Now, we overclocked the processor to 5 GHz, and that's 100% load with 100% fan speed. The Intel stock cooler couldn't keep up and would crash. The extra fan drops the temperature roughly by around about 5 degrees compared to it with running with one fan. So overall, yeah, you are getting a lot better performance, a lot better cooling by just adding one extra fan. So if you have the room, that extra one fan can make a difference. Now, how loud does it make it? Yeah, it does. this does make a difference with the actual decibel level, so it does make it a little bit louder, but only roughly around about three uh, decibels louder on average and uh, if the fans are running flat out again roughly three decibels so you're looking two to three decibels louder which isn't bad overall